Now, the Democratic Party, as I reported uh, when McCarthy got booted, is much more cohesive than the Republican Party. The Democrats have strong leadership, Schumer, Pelosi. These are vicious people. You get out of line, you're going to get hurt. Republicans don't really have a leader. So Trump runs on a Republican ticket. He's not a Republican. He's a populist. All right. Biden's not the leader of the Democratic Party. Biden can barely stay awake all day. It's behind the scenes people. But the Republican Party is not nearly as organized as the Democratic Party is. That's a fact. And that's maybe Scalise could do something there. I don't know. There's a new book that caught my eye. It's called Crime, Inc., How Democrats Employ Mafia and Gangster Tactics to Gain and Hold Power. Okay, the author is Vince Everett Ellison, joins us from Lynchburg, Virginia. Now, the reason your book caught my eye is because I wrote Killing the Mob. And I know the tactics that organized crime uses. So when I saw this, I go, all right, let's let's see what he's got. Give me your most vivid example of how the Democratic Party uses mafia techniques. Thank you for having me, Bill. And one of the, uh, I guess the best example, one of the best examples is that the mob makes money doing hits. They kill people for a living and they make money from it. Well, the uh, uh, Democratic Party does the same thing. They call theirs Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood kills babies, they get money, and then they give campaign contributions to the Democratic Party. Also, the mafia controls the unions. They use it for laundering money. They use it for kickbacks. The Democrats do the same thing. The Democrats give money to the teachers' unions. The teachers' unions then uh, would give to the teachers. Teachers give to the unions. And the unions give campaign contributions back to the Democratic Party. It's just classic money laundering. And then also the the, uh, cartels do trafficking. They traffic sex trafficking. They traffic fentanyl. And the Democratic Party, each one of those cartels have a K Street lawyer that gives contributions to the Democratic Party, and they leave the border open. And the fentanyl and the sex trafficking and the human trafficking comes across the border, and they're together hand in glove. That's just one of the few examples right. how the Democratic Party and the mob use the same tactics. Let me debrief you on all three of those. The first one is Planned Parenthood. You have yeah. to understand that the donations Planned Parenthood get are voluntary from Americans who believe in abortion. No, the Democratic Party funds Planned Parenthood with federal money. Millions of dollars. They they, 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 they threatened to shut down the government. They threatened to shut down the government if the Republicans took it out of the budget. Okay, but none of the money that comes from the federal government to Planned Parenthood can go for abortions. That's the Hyde Amendment. It's fungible, Bill. It's fungible. They take the money that they would use to pay the light bill and they use it for abortion. That's all it is. What I'm trying to tell you is... But they do. I think your union thing is better than the Planned Parenthood thing. No, the Planned Parenthood thing is right on because they will not they will not stop abortion because the Planned Parenthood also gives them campaign contributions. Ninety eight percent of all of the campaign contributions from Planned Parenthood goes to the Democrat Party. And the Democrat Party also gives them hundreds of millions of dollars in federal money for their abortion clinics. There it is. Money laundering. To kill babies. I don't know about money laundering. It's a quid pro quo. The money That's flows the back. Is. Money flows back and <laughs> forth, but it has to be it has to be legal in a way it's given. Um, but well, okay. they, well, also it is legal because the Democratic Party controls the politics. They won't let it become illegal. Well, Trump had four years where he could have written executive orders to stop some of this, and he didn't. But they filibustered it in the Senate. Remember, Schumer and below that, Schumer filibustered in the Senate, and they were going to shut down the government, shut it down, because they wanted to take out five hundred million dollars in Planned Parenthood funding. They were going to shut down the whole government to protect okay. that fund. Well, they, you know, the Republican Party should have called them bluff. That's what it well, should have happened. Well, should no, have blown they, it right up. No, they filibustered. They said we I won't pass it. I understand what they did, Everett, but you, yeah. uh, Vince, but you have to fight them right there. Now, let's go to the cartels because that's another subject. Right? You have to bust it with 60 votes. Right. If you don't have 60 votes, you can't, you can't bust it. They didn't have 60 votes. But they couldn't shut down the government, all right? unless there was a vote in the House that overrode the filibuster in the Senate, and it didn't happen. So let's well, go to yeah, Mexico. They, they, what they would have done, they would have to shut the whole government down and allowed everybody else to just go under. So yeah. what they did, it just allowed it. But, uh, but again, the Democrats were the ones that were going to shut the whole government down. 
Shut the whole I, government down. I don't down know whether they would or wouldn't. But for every tactic, there is another tactic. And that's what we're talking about. The Republicans are not yeah. as organized as the Democrats. Oh, so, no, no. I agree with you completely on that. But the Democrats okay. were the ones that wanted the money for Planned Parenthood. Period. They Let's were the ones that the, pressed it. They were the ones that wanted to kill Vince. babies up to the ninth so month. We only have a finite time for the interview. Let's sure. go to the cartels. So it is true. Democratic Party supports open borders and Biden does what the progressive left wants. That yeah. enriches the drug and people smugglers or cartels in Mexico. OK, yes. it doesn't enrich as far as I can see the Democratic Party. It creates more social problems in America where both. That's parties, what the Democratic Party wants, Bill. The more poor people they have, the more crime they have, the more power they have in the inner cities. Look at Chicago. Look at Detroit. Look at Baltimore. They are bastions of crime and the Democrat Party controls them. This is an evil institution. They are a criminal organization. They're, con they're, con they're controlled by a ball of murderers, psychopaths, liars, and anti-Christian bigots. Wherever they go, you have poverty, crime, death. You have it. They love this. A Democrat Party heaven is an American hell. That's why wherever you find this type of poverty, this is where they excel. They want okay. it and they want to spread it. Because but the, the more cartels in the these situations, the more powerful they are. There's no money going in. The cartels keep their money. Now, I'm going to guess that your parents, and I don't know, were Democrats. Am I right? They were, but they're not. But, but, okay, but not, all right, but wait, let's start. That's right. So they were Democrats yeah. at one time. Because Me too. Oh, Almost 90 percent of African-Americans were Democrats at one time. My family was Democrat because they came right. from Ireland. OK, Brooklyn signed right up to the Democratic Party. All right. What has happened, in your opinion, to make a once viable political party, in your opinion, OK, go so far left and and take a whole president and administration with them? What has happened? Now, the Democratic Party is run by progressives, far left operation, no moderates at all. What happened? Right. Well, the uh, civil rights movement with Martin Luther King Jr. brought in a lot of communists, a lot of Marxists into the movement, a lot of hippies, dope heads, atheists. After the civil rights movement, they all jumped into the Democratic Party. If you recall, in 1968, they tried to take it over in Chicago. Mayor Daley and the hardheads and the police ran them out. Well, they said the whole world is watching. Saul Alinsky said you got three choices. You can either go back and cry, you can either start throwing bombs, or you can go back, organize, and then come back in four years and be the delegates. In 1972, they came back in Miami, and they took over. They ran Mayor Daley out this time. And this is when they brought abortion, atheism, and, and, and all this foolishness into the Democratic Party. This is when the Southern white conservatives left it. They didn't leave the Democratic Party because of the Civil Rights Movement. They left it because the Democrats bought an atheist, they bought in welfare, they bought in, in, in government control. And the smartest thing that white conservatives ever did was leave the Democratic Party. Because if they didn't do it, they would be just like black Americans now at the bottom All of right. every socioeconomic statistic in America. So but that's there what were, happened. There, there were the, the, restraints. The took over and then they destroyed it. All right. There were restraints. Tip O'Neill, Daniel Patrick Moynihan. There were sure. big. They're the all Kennedy, dead now. The Kennedy. They're all dead now. Okay. They so waited. There were, Nancy Pelosi, Jim Clyburn, uh, Joe Biden. Yeah, uh, they were all Feinstein. far left people. They were all part of that group, and they held that party after the 90s for about 30 years, and they turned it into a leftist party. They sat there and waited for Barack Obama, and when he came in, they slapped it, and it was in, and now it's there. All right. Very provocative, Vince. Uh, the author of Crime, Inc., How Democrats Employ Mafia. VinceEllison.com. Okay. Three E's in the middle. VinceEllison.com. You can get my books. You can look at my documentary. All of it. 